Now from KPRC Channel 2 Sports, it's Friday Football Frenzy. Brought to you by your Greater Houston Honda dealers. So we have to take advantage of every opportunity. So tonight, let's take advantage. We will never have this moment again, fellas. It'll never happen again. Give me two shots in the ring for Ah, nice pregame speech inside the A-Leaf Taylor locker room tonight. Welcome to the Friday Football Frenzy, everybody. The road show continues. We're back at Crump Stadium tonight. Our game of the week, over 40,000 votes for A-Leaf Taylor and Pearland. Our crews have been all over Houston bringing you the top highlights. Check out the bottom of the screen for the rolling ticker and look out for your favorite team tonight. Let's jump right into it. Our Friday Football Frenzy game of the week right here at Crump Stadium. Four and one pair land on the road, taking on five and oh Lions of A Leaf Taylor. Scoreless game in the second, third and goal play here. Jacob Whitehead hands to Evan Burgess. Three yard touchdown made it seven nothing pair land. Later in the second, Oilers get it back, and it's Whitehead, the smart guy, hands to Burgess again. Pair land on top, 14 nothing in this game. Lions, though, not done yet. After a great kickoff return, this is a fourth and two play. Dante Ward hits Britter Eagles, shakes a tackle. 23 yards later, he's in, made it 14-7. That was the score at halftime. Now, let's go to the third quarter. 14-13 Pearland when Jacob Whitehead right here is picked off by Taylor's Kobe Whiteside. That is a pick six, returns it 34 yards to the house, put the Lions up 19 to 14 in that fourth quarter. They had a couple of goal line stands, and they hold on 19-14, the final. I caught up with the Lions after the win. All right, we are here with the winning Lions tonight. How's it feel, guys? Dante Ward, the quarterback, what does this win mean? A, a, a step in a big a season ahead for you guys, but a win over a good pair of Lions. Man, this is a great one for us. This show, this show that we have heart, and it show that who AT really is and why we do this each and every day. What that uh, fourth down uh, stand, that goal line man, stand mean for man, you? I love my defense to hey, life. I love all y'all, man. They came. Hey, hey, we, we, hey, we put them in some bad positions as an offense, but we're going to work on that, and I'm grateful for my teammates. I'm really grateful. All right, A. Lee Taylor with the win, 6 and 0. Time to celebrate. Yeah. Ah, big party tonight. Let's move it on to Klein Memorial Stadium, Klein Collins and Klein Oak tonight. First quarter, Klein Oak's opening possession. Drive it down the field. Brandon Blair caps things off with a touchdown run. 7 0 Panthers with the lead. Klein Collins answers on its first possession. Quarterback Bryson Powers takes a snap, basically walks in, and we're all tied at seven apiece. Klein Collins took the lead on an Anthony Doyle 29 yard touchdown. They roll from there and they win 42 to 7 the final tonight. Cy Ranch, Cy Creek. Let's take you, oh, about 10 minutes away to Pridgen Stadium. We go. Third quarter of this one. Cy Ranch's Holden Gorley gets the handoff. Gorley will score 31 20. Cy Ranch leads. Still in the third, Cy Ranch's EJ Thompson gets the handoff, finds the end zone. Mustangs up 37 20. Cy Ranch would get the win tonight. Uh, big offensive night, 58 20 the final. All right, down to Perryland. Let's uh, make a stop over at the rig. We go for Dawson and George Ranch tonight. In the first quarter, George Ranch driving senior Alex Fontenot is going to take the pitch, races to the corner. See you later. Touchdown, 7 0 uh, Longhorns on top. Now, after the first quarter, here's more. Dawson comes back. Lance Charles bursting out of the pack. He's gone. This is a 38 yarder to tie it at seven. Dawson pulls away. They win tonight by a final of 41 to 24. Now, to Sugarland. Let's stop over at Mercer Stadium. Check in on Kempner and Austin tonight in a district showdown. Kempner strikes first on a quarterback keeper. Alec Carr around the left side. He's gone 76 yards down the sidelines. Gets there for the Cougars touchdown. Kipner led it 6 0. Austin would answer back when their quarterback, Chris Rivers, goes right. Uh, then he's going to reverse back to his left. Crazy play, leaps into the end zone, creative five yard run. Kipner too much tonight. They win over Austin 49 to 21. All right, out to Goleta Park ISD Stadium we go now. North Shore and C.E. King going at it. The home team had their way tonight. Already 21-0 Mustangs, and they kept piling on. Here's Bryant Beatty, short touchdown reception, and it's 28-0. And then with C.E. King driving, they try a screen pass. North Shore's Thomas Davis uh, can read that. He's all over it. That would be six. 85-yard 
Uh, pick six right there for a touchdown. Uh, five first quarter touchdowns, and they went easily tonight, 56 to three, the final. All right, we're just getting started here on the Friday football frenzy. It's going to be a fun night. Check out the scores on the way to break, though. Let's listen in to the Pearland Band and the Prancers dance team. Now it's time for the Friday Football Frenzy Play of the Game. Brought to you by Dairy Queen. All right, let's check out our Dairy Queen play of the game. Back to Mercer Stadium for the 76-yard touchdown run from Kipper quarterback Alex Carr. Just enough speed to get that score, and that is our Dairy Queen play of the game. Welcome back to Friday Football Frenzy, everybody. Let's keep it moving. A lot of games, a lot of scores to pass along to you tonight. Let's take you out to Winston Stadium out in Friendswood tonight. Mustangs are taking on the Knights of Clear Falls. All Friendswood in this one. Senior quarterback Tyler Page is going to call his own number. Great spin move. Very good result. Friendswood cruises in this one by final of 84 to 8 tonight. All right, more highlights. Let's toss it back to the studio. Check in now with Lanny Fritz. Hey, Lanny. All right, thanks, Randy. A lot of great highlights still to come, so let's start it off by going to Hall Stadium. It's the Clements Rangers taking on the Ridge Point Panthers. Panthers lead 35 to nothing. Rangers driving ball in the Panther 37. Quarterback Nick Infante sees Lawal Oyudimi open over the middle, but he stopped at the one yard line. Rangers try three times to drive it in, but good Panther defense. They have to settle for a field goal. Ridge Point wins it 49 to 3. Kincaid at Episcopal. The Knights lead 13 0 in the first until Falcons running back Jonathan Thomas runs it in from the five to get on the board. Episcopal answers. Gavin Guy fakes the handoff instead, connects with Jalen Waddell, who takes it in to go up 20 to 7. And before half, they pile it on. Guy drops back and this time goes deep to Waddell. He's gone. Knights up big now, 69 to 28 in the fourth. All right, Randy, back to you. I'll send it to our Frenzy Game of the Week. All right, Lanny, appreciate it. Hey, the Friday Football Frenzy Game of the Week in your hands at home. You vote. Tell me where I'm going next Friday. Here are the choices now for the Game of the Week. Very good choices. Go to clicktohouston.com or download the Frenzy app. Vote until Wednesday at noon. Vote as much as you want. I'll announce the game coming up next Wednesday at 6 o'clock. All right, more highlights and scores as we wrap up another edition of the Frenzy coming up here in just a couple of minutes here on Channel 2. Here we go, Alvin Memorial Stadium. Manville Mavericks taking on the Tornadoes from Galveston Ball tonight. Mavs receiving the opening kickoff. Hope the fans were in their seats already because this happened. Brian Johnson catches the ball at 11. Great block. Uh, see you later. History. Mavs up 7-0 just like that. Manville wins 48-10 to tonight over Galveston Ball. All right, uh, action from last night. Side Fair with uh, Cy Woods taking on Langham Creek. Five touchdowns in the first 13 minutes of this one. This was the prettiest 56 yard thing of beauty. Chris Heron to Reagan Colburn. The scoring did not stop with Langham Creek putting up 62 points. They win by a final of 62 35, the final over uh, Cy Woods uh, for Langham Creek last night. All right, uh, that's going to put a wrap on another edition of the Friday Football Frenzy. Great highlights. Great scores. Thanks to all the bats, cheerleaders, and the great folks out here at Crump Stadium. Ailey Taylor beats Pearland tonight. Great ball game in our Game of the Week, 19 to 14. Remember, a reminder to keep voting Game of the Week until next Wednesday at 6 o'clock. We'll announce the winner. For the entire crew, thanks for watching. Have a great weekend.